Most people spend their free time doing things that are constructive and that will help them do things later on in life. Me, I spend my free time looking at little places marked on the map on Google Maps, trying to find out where I am in the world in GeoGuessr. And I am trying so hard to be good at this game. So here's me playing competitive GeoGuessr against some of the better players in the world. So you gotta do a little warm up, get your toes wet, you know, warm up a bit. And this one, it's Bhutan, locked in already. I mean, the mountains, very unique. The red license plate, guaranteed Bhutanesian and I'm feeling good so stringing it together and I'm already trying to figure out what kind of bollards these are and this is something that I learned um, not well I, I, these look German to me but it's not German because the dashes are kind of Scandinavian or northern I can't remember if it's Latvia or Lithuania or Sweden and it's Latvia it's a Latvia bollard run it back turbo mode it's Germany but it's not even it's Burgerland um, which has to be Germany. So this one's the safest bet of my life. I don't even need to look around. Welcome to Austria, baby. You were wrong, and I don't know if I could have gotten any better than that. Where the fuck I am? Um, look, I'll be honest with you. Some of these places in, in Street View are identifiable by the cars, and this one is something that I just didn't know, okay? Panama is a place on Google Street View in only certain areas, and it's not the Philippines, it's Panama City, and usually the car has a big fat antenna on the front of it that's noticeable. Not today, so log that one in the bank and forget it. This is easy, dude. Soul Read, look at this. World War II era looks kind of, a little bit, little bit, we got corn. You know, we got corn, but it looks a little bit run dead, maybe Eastern European. We got the we got the non-European Union license plate with the concrete telephone poles. I'm just got a feeling. It's got and look at the kitty. Okay, this locks it in. We're vibing Poland, baby. We're vibing Poland. Literally, what the fuck? The more that I learn, the worse I am. Look at this. It's in Cyrillic. That's a Russian crosswalk with the yellow on the outside. Bada bing, bada boom. We're locked in. Fucking Christ! All right, I'm warmed up. Time to go against the top 3% of people that play this game because I got way too high ranked. And now that I know things, why are you waving at me? This is an easy one. Locked in. I can already see it's in full English. This is a clue because nothing in this screams anything that would speak English. I have no concept of where we are. Blood is in here locking in the guest 15 seconds in and I, I'm i I'm scrounging around for some intel and info and truthfully I don't know and I'm just gonna throw it down somewhere in Mexico. Holy shit! I did not guess Tijuana. Every time I see something like this I get a shock to the system. I think this is the United Kingdom if I've ever seen it. Look how many chimneys are in this home. Dude thinks he's got it. Blood is wrong. He thinks it's Ireland. He's wrong. All right, I feel pretty good at this point. We're on a cruise and this is screaming Scandinavian to me. You know, you got these side hash marks that are long and white. I mean, these volcanic, almost wet, mossy looking rocks. There's not really many places in the world that look like this. So my first guess initially, west coast of Norway. And immediately I get psyched out because why are these things black and, and yellow on the side of the road? And it kind of looks sketchy. And then I start thinking maybe it's the Balkans. And then I'm like, I don't know. It was right where I put it initially. And this is what I like to call throwing the game. I also like to throw the game by looking at one context clue and immediately determining where I am and thinking the bottom of a pole painted black is Russia, but because it's Golden Fields, it's in the Georgian area before looking down and realize it's the new Kazakhstan car and double taking, only to realize I am boned. Oh, I think the easiest thing I can say is have confidence in yourself. You know, if you believe something to be true, really stand behind it and don't let yourself talk yourself out of things. You know, you know better than anyone. Like this, for example, these weird hills that I'm looking at clearly in the Northern Hemisphere confusing me because there's a yellow line, which makes me think, hey, this has got to be somewhere in North or South America because who else has yellow lines? So then I go Brazil, which is decidedly south of the equator. And I'm looking at this like, man, these things look kind of like Mexico. I don't know. But then I'm like, wait, wait, brother, there's weird hills in Lesotho. Everyone knows this. And not only is Lesotho a great guest, but South Africa has yellow on their- Yeah, it was, so it was Mexico. And um, I'm learning that I don't know what Mexico looks like. Run it back turbo mode. Nobody dares to fit. It's a rematch. Let's go. I'm not waving at this guy. I am taking this so seriously. All right, I'll wave. All right, back on it. See, Norway over here, identifiable street lines. They got dots on the side of the road in a deep yellow orange. And the side of the car said dot N-O. So I, I mean, this one's free. 13 points. The game is one in the trenches. Speaking of trenches, 
I don't even remember where this is, and I just played this, um, and I'm gonna have to pre-watch again. Yeah, this one blew my mind, okay? This looks to me like India, right? I initially thought, hey, the vegetation is Brazilian, but because the quality of the camera is so bad, usually reserved for India or Bangladesh, Cambodia. Pretty stoked on this one. Normally reserved for South Africa, but check this out, all right? I'm looking at the lines, yellow on the outside, white on the inside, but the yellow back rear plate, that, my friends, is a Botswana. That's a Botswana. They follow the same license plate ordinance as the UK, probably because they were a colony. I don't actually know if that's true. But here we are with the Botswanian call, and uh, there's only two real highways that they do, so that, yeah. You know what's really gross? When you look at a map like this and you region guess based off of the quality of the pavement of a back road. Like, Finland doesn't pave shit. They, they got homes on dirt roads everywhere. Ukraine, noticeably bad roads, all right? Worse than anywhere else. But this, this could be Poland. I don't know. And you know what blew my mind? All right, the worst part of this game. This man region guesses wrong, gets the right country and loses points. Are you kidding? Now, you might think, hey, what's going through your brain right now, Tuck, all right? You just had this long conversation about dirt roads, roads in general. Surely you lock it in, right? Surely you lock it in. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, do I not lock it in? This is the other side of dirt roads, Canada. Y'all got way too many of these things. Like, Newfies, I'm pretty sure Canada just lives out in the dirt at this point. Everybody thinks about igloos, but I was in the wrong here. Rounds progressively give you more multipliers for your damage as you go on. So we're looking at 2x, and this one really stumped me, right? Like, I'm thinking Brazil, potentially. We got farmland, weird mountains in the distance, and what looks like a Honda Odyssey with no road anywhere. And I'm like, why are we even doing this in the first place? Is this Africa? Are we looking? We're looking sort of south? Like, I guess we're in the north i just feel like the sun lies to me i'm going colombia because of the wood fencing that's traditionally used in Col mexico okay we're chill listen brother you gotta basically get as close as possible every round or else if he is one foot closer you lose um, and this is the US and I'm trying to figure out if it snows here these reflectors make me think it doesn't snow So I'm looking for McMansion areas in the US that are wooded but kind of hilly and I'm having trouble I'm like st. Louis, but then I don't know. Sh yeah, I mean that's fair. It's North Georgia I'm literally so tilted and I'm excited to go once again head-to-head -head with this motherfucker All right, I've never in my life thought hey you know, this is, I've got a rivalry brewing. I got this little football headed bitch and he's out here thinking he can out guess me three times in a row. Nobody puts baby in a quarter three times in a row. This is Northern India, potentially. Why? Cause it, I mean, it just gives that vibe. India is huge. I need to do a better job of guessing where we are. Cause this one was just not quite it. Here's a fun one, man. All right. What bollard? is this what bollard on the planet is this one all right because if you can't answer that you can't play with the big boys and you can see me visibly stressing because i know which bollard this is but i can't figure out which one of the 300 countries i've studied in the last 37 minutes has this exact red white plastic made rounded bollard with landscape that looks kind of i don't know like wavy and in and, and farmland golden field-esque and i go denmark because it looks like that was an awful guess there's fields in South Romania. Feel pretty good about this one. Immediately see it's Tazzy land. So Tasmania, you know, that one's going to be pretty easy. And I think the guy's going to probably see this. So I know Westbury is probably a town, but I'm looking for confirmation, like another Westbury to know we're in here. There's the cafe Westbury. So I'm like, all right, somewhere on the West, we are in a place called Westbury. Nope, it's in the goddamn middle of the country, but I mean, it's, it's wherever, island, it doesn't matter, but I get this one, and Blood did not get this one, so I don't understand why I get so unlucky. The, the rounds that I actually kick ass are always in the first four, and then all of a sudden, they just, they beat me by 15 feet in round nine, and I lose seven million points. Where is this? Uh, these bollards are Turkish, I believe, right? The, the, I don't know why I'm asking right, nobody's talking to me. I'm looking for where we are in the northern southern hemisphere the road lines look european though and the hills um i don't know if you notice this but the sun looks pretty much equatorial which is why this is confusing that it's the literal southern point of cape town like i'm sorry i guess i should have known those look european lines what wait turkey's not european what the fuck am i talking about 
Well, oh, see, now I know this is Mexico, but you're going to watch a man tilt so far beyond belief. You're going to watch him literally devolve into a pile of brain aneurysms, okay? I, I, I mean, where is this? To me, it's looking a little Spanish, but the road looks really fucked up. The plate is not yellow, and I don't know why, but this screams like it could be Colombian, but not because we have these, these, these fences, these posts made out of shitty wood, and the sign is rusted, but it doesn't look like it's up there and so tropical. It's fucking Mexico. You ever see somebody lose so badly at a game that they load up a guide? I mean, if I'm going to lose Mexico three straight games in a row, then I might as well try and study it and see if I can learn anything because boy, am I angry. Only thing less balanced in Counter-Strike's ELO system is GeoGuessers as I consistently face people in the top 1% just having fun. But that means that I'm, I'm going to learn, right? Surely. So I'm not going to face this guy 930 ELO in, in any other different way, except I don't know where I am. And I think I'm somewhere in the Balkans. I can't see anything on the license plates. And it wasn't until I turn around and I get this last second nab right here where I see the two blue sides of the license plate really saves me there. Every now and then I have good moments where I make really crazy guesses based off of information I don't think should be available or information I don't think is, is reasonable to make a guess on. And I've got Mexico on my mind. You know, this looks crazy. It's hazy, it's foggy, it's flat, but it doesn't look like insanely wealthy. It looks farmy, but these trees look European, right? Like the way the farm trees sit around the plots and these houses in the background almost look Portuguese. So much red in the roofs and like gray and white. So I'm really having trouble, but I'm like, fuck it. I'm not getting beat by Mexico again until I rationalize things. Look around, look at the homes. This isn't Mexico. And then I see it. I see the thing that's gonna tip me off. Ready? The tires. That is an expensive way to tarp cover. All of those tires, who makes tires? Italy? Italy makes tires. Surely Italy makes tires. And you're right, motherfucker. Italy makes tires. I put that shit up north in the flat area by Venice. Eat my ass. I feel so good sometimes. I am on cloud nine. But it is short lived. Where is this? This could be a turkey. I see that it says Seifer motor. Okay, well, um, we're in the northern hem- Is this Mexico? Am I in a- Is this Me Casta del- Oh my god, it's not. It's Spain. Costa del Almenia, and I am gonna lock this in so hard. Blood thought he knew what was going on. Me? I knew we're on the coast, and I knew it started with an A. What I didn't really know was that it was this exact spot. I just kind of thought they looked the same. Bro said, huh? He said, how? He said, how did you know that? And I said, I can read Spanglish. This is what I'm talking about. Every single time I have the chance to win on something nobody knows, they give it to me in the first three rounds. Look at me lock in. This is the Antarctic logo. This is the logo that they put on every vehicle. I say GG because I'm like, this guy knows the exact spot in Antarctica. It's a huge place. There's nine different bases out here, but I don't know which one it is. It looks American-esque, so I'm going with an American one. There's two that I can see. Which one? I don't know. End up going with this one because there's three next to it, like Spanish or Portuguese, Chilean, and it was not the correct one. So not only did he get the entire, he literally was the most opposite of that he could possibly be, but I didn't really benefit from it, which sucks. Ha ha! It's Mexico! Why do they give me something that has a billboard? I would have locked this one in based off the road alone. But I'm trying to take in some context clues. What's the vegetation look like? Does it look like northern Mexico, southern Mexico? I see these pines. It looks like it could be elevated. It's a safe guess if you get Mexico to just go north of Mexico City. There's a lot of shit out there. Baba Booey. I got bro on the rope. 600 points. Uh, this is... This... Um... This is, um, this is scary. I can pretty much agree that this looks like a lot of places, South Africa, maybe in Australia, but I'm glad that I decided to really look at the, the way the road's built, look at the sign and think, this is fucking Brazil, bro. But what I didn't get is the region in Brazil. I mean, that's just so hard. Triple damage. Don't mess this up. It's just whoever gets even slightly farther away loses. And it's clearly the Philippines because that is in English. And the roads are concrete. Which side? 
which side of the Philippines, a very long country like Indonesia, and this has me struggling. I see a big mountain in the north, and I think, oh, oh, maybe we're down south, and I don't feel like I can pull the trigger, so I leave it north, and I lose! I'm literally, I can't, I'm, 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 I'm okay. I'm calm. I'm chill. Put your fucking hand down, bro. I ain't waving to you. But I will lock this in, seeing as we are in the northern hemisphere and it looks really dry, and this is something that I've been paying attention to. Maybe a little Mexico, maybe up near, not saying Baja, because it looks like there's no cacti. There's like nothing at all. And that is why, my friends, I decided to put the dot here. When I tell you I audibly said what the fuck, I mean it. Where are we now? This one, I feel, is a little bit on my stronger side, right? I've learned that the Australian dirt looks like Australian dirt. It's like red, but not Canyon red, not Brazilian red, Australian red. And where in Australia has fertile farm fields with no hills is kind of weird. So I take the safe bet a little bit outside Sydney. I don't believe in it. It's fucking Perth. This one immediately screams North American, just the way that shed's constructed, the way the landscape looks, it could be virtually anywhere. What throws me off the most about this is the dirt road. Dirt roads being common in Northern Canada, and uh, you know, I just feel like I region guessed this wrong. The mountains aren't that tall. And what really threw me off is this motorcycle. Motorcycles always travel Route 1 up to Alaska through British Columbia. It's a famous route, and I just don't think that I knew what that looked like. I actually got somebody to throw. This one, you could probably look at it and think this could be the Philippines or Southeast Asia just by the way the sand, the dirt looks, the construction, until you see that. If you see behind the, the tin roofs, you see a classic Nigerian rooftop. Very tall, very iconic, pretty much exclusively located to Nigeria. And that, to me, made me feel good. But what was giving me a little bit of a trip was the fact that there is a car in Ghana that has a roof rack with black tape on it. And I was making sure this one wasn't it because even though I was confident in Nigeria, the roof rack threw me off. This one was hard, okay? Immediately thinking that it looks kind of Scandinavian, but this looks Dutch, not Dutch though, because Dutch would have more A's in it. You know what I mean? It'd be like, it'd be like Rismos Garten. And, and, but the roofs on these houses, it doesn't look finished to me. It, it doesn't, it looks a little Norwegian. Norway uses a lot of black in their homes. And since it's not mountainous, I go over towards Oslo, which I could have won the game here if I was just a little closer. I did not really peg that as, as Sweden. Are you ready? Are you ready for the best story arc you've ever seen in your entire life? Can you feel it? Can you feel the Mexico in your veins? I'm gonna win on motherfucking Mexico and nobody's gonna stop me. Why? Because, I don't know, man, this looks like everything that I would have guessed that wasn't Mexico prior to thinking about it. The wooden fence looks Colombian, but it looks too dry, and there's just things about Mexico that I'm starting to stare at and realize it doesn't look like much else. It's like a less tropical version of Ecuador, of, of Colombia, Guatemala, and ladies and gentlemen, that's how I feel good about losing most of my GeoGuessr games.